and transportation costs. So a lot of things hitting us right now. And amid this national tree shortage and price increases, some are saying that North Carolina farmers could have an opportunity to get into the industry. Joining us now is owner and operator of a Christmas tree farm here and attorney with uh, shoemaker Andrew and Bosserman or shoemaker. Your name is Andrew Bosserman. <laughs> Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, thanks so much for being here. So these problems with trees, it's not just North Carolina problems. So uh, explain how this is actually creating an opportunity for farmers here. Yeah, so as you just talked about, you know, we're seeing Christmas tree shortages across the country, but this really creates demand for North Carolina farmers because I see this continued high demand um, continuing in the future for quite a number of years. Um, due to COVID, many families um, have decided that family time and creating family memories is important, and they've also had more time to spend at home. So they're going out and buying a real Christmas tree. Also, we're seeing lots of millennials uh, starting to buy homes and start families, and they um, really value things like supporting local businesses and um, having an authentic Christmas experience. So this means that this high demand is gonna continue for the future and North Carolina is perfectly set up to meet this high demand because we have great um, support from the extension office at the North Carolina State University. Um, they help Christmas tree growers um, succeed here in North Carolina. And also there's quite a bit of available land. Well, land in the mountains might be limited um, actually, Christmas tree species can be grown across the state. Uh, I am one of those who I had an artificial tree last year and this year I'm looking to get a real one because I just, I don't know, I just want it to feel and smell Christmassy in my house. So I think it's, it's a trend that we're seeing. We know that agriculture is booming industry in our state. We know that. Um, but what kind of benefits could farmers see if they do switch or diversify their crops to include Christmas trees? Yes, so if they're thinking about switching to Christmas trees, they should definitely start planting now because it takes at least seven years from when a tree is planted to, to uh, become a fully mature, ready for harvest Christmas tree. Um, like I just mentioned, there's increased demand, so they should definitely be able to sell their trees. Also, Christmas trees are fairly lucrative compared to other crops. Uh, typically, you can fit about a thousand or so Christmas trees on an acre, and at harvest time, that's tens of thousands of dollars per acre compared with much less for, say, traditional uh, row crops. Um, and also out there, many uh, current Christmas tree growers are um, thinking about retiring. So it also gives an opportunity for um, existing younger farmers to take over existing Christmas tree farms. I love it. Something for me to think about. It could be a career change for sure. Andrew Bosserman, thanks so much for joining us.